cela le chemin de votre vie Un cercle fermé Un labyrinthe sans but et sans signification La vie n'a pour vous aucun sens Savez-vous que vous pouvez vivre de la manière qu'il vous plaît de vivre Et que Dieu ne peut rien faire contre cela Vous n'êtes pas un pantin sur une corde ni un jouet mécanique dont Dieu remonte ou démonte le ressort. Vous avez le droit de faire ce qui vous semble juste. Vous êtes fait à l'image de Dieu. Vous êtes fait à l'image morale de Dieu. Vous êtes votre seul juge. Vous avez le droit de choisir votre mode de vie. Si votre vœu est de mener une vie dont Dieu serait totalement exclu, lié aux exigences de votre chair, de vos seuls désirs, sous le seul contrôle de votre propre vouloir, n'admettant aucune contrainte, refusant Dieu, son royaume, son fils Jésus-Christ, à votre aise. Non, on n'échappe pas à Jésus. Vous pouvez essayer, vous n'y arriverez pas. Si Jésus prétendait être Dieu, sachant qu'il ne l'est pas, alors, bien sûr, il ne serait qu'un menteur. Si Jésus pensait qu'il est Dieu parce qu'il n'a pas de discernement, il ne serait qu'un maniaque. Mais si Jésus-Christ est ce qu'il prétend être, le Fils de Dieu, alors rien d'autre ne compte, excepté le reconnaître. Avec toutes nos réalisations scientifiques et technologiques, avec tout notre intellectualisme, nous ne pouvons échapper à Jésus. Chacun doit prendre sa décision à propos de Jésus. Qui est-il Qu'était-il Quel pas a-t-il sur ma vie aujourd'hui question of all the scripture is this, how does a just God pardon wicked men and still be just? How does a holy God call wicked men into fellowship with him and still be holy? And the answer is found in the cross of Jesus Christ. In the cross of Jesus Christ we see this tremendous, unique revelation of the fullness of God's attributes. God is just. He must condemn our sin. God is love, and so he becomes a man in his son, lives a perfect life as a man, and then goes to that tree, and on that tree, the sins of his people are cast upon him, and all the justice of God, all the wrath of God that we deserve is thrown down upon the head of Christ. The exact measure that was required in order to fully satisfy the justice of God. After suffering, Christ said, it is finished. That meant he did what was required to satisfy God's justice against God's people. He paid the price in full. This is so very important to understand that it wasn't that, that our sins were atoned for simply because the Romans beat Jesus up and nailed him on a cross. Our sins were atoned for because on that tree he bore our sin and it pleased the Lord, it pleased Yahweh to crush him. The wrath of God that should have fallen upon me and you fell upon his only begotten son and he suffered it in full. He paid the price. He died for the wages of sin is death and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And now he's seated at the right hand of God. And there is no other name, no other name in any other world. There is no other name uh, given to men whereby we might be saved except for the name of Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. There is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. <laughs> Let me see your feet. That's like two inches. That's way short. In Jesus name. Left leg, I command you grow right now. Jesus name. Yeah. Did you feel? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Jesus is amazing. He loves you so much. Father, I thank you that you love Bridget so much, God, that you would make her wrist completely whole right now. Every ligament, every tendon, every cartilage, I command you be made whole in Jesus' name. Come on, let me see it again. Yeah, it'll be gone. Come on, this is real.
Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you love her so much, God. Check it again. She'll be done. Come on. That's the gospel. I look, I look addicted. I'm addicted to coke. Okay. I lost my wife, my three kids, and I want God to help me to get back with my family. Come on, man. Can you put your hand on his shoulder? Addiction, I curse you and command you. Let him go. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I give you everything. I give you everything. I want my family back. I want my family back. But I need you most. But I need you most. And I invite you. And I invite you. Right now. Right now. To come in. To come in. And dominate my heart. And dominate my heart. And transform my life. And transform my life. I submit. I submit. And give up. And give up. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wash me. Wash me. And wipe me clean. Wipe me clean. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name, God. You heard his heart. Addiction, I curse you and command you, get out. Get out, you're a violation of everything good. I command you, let him go, in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for favor. Jesus' name, thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. Secondly, the real question is, how bad do you want to find out?